This squad has been working together for the last six months. The majority of them are from the NTC program. Half of them have probably been together for the last two, three years. Women's football every year has been growing. You know, we're getting more and more girls playing the sport and I think the state tournament is going to be a really big tournament for the girls. The last two years we've done really well and we've won uh, the B group, 13s and the 15s. So every year we're progressing and it goes to show um, how much we're improving as a state. You know, the under 19s are doing really well and hopefully, um, you know, a couple of those players might go up to the W League this year. And for you personally, you announced last year that uh, that was your last W League season. Any uh, change of mind at all on that one? No, no, no change of mind. Um, obviously, it's starting to come about now and you're hearing more about the W League, but um, I know I'm going to miss it, but I'm hoping to still be involved with the girls, so yeah, I can't wait to watch them get out there. You know, I think we had a great year last year. We had lots of success winning the Premiership and, and making the final. One of the highlights was obviously scoring in the semi-final to get the girls to the, to the grand final. So for me, I think that was a good note to finish on. So Colette, have you had much time to reflect on the fact that obviously you won't be playing uh, football anymore? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the last bit in Italy when I was with the, the girls, um, I couldn't train anymore because of my knees. I do miss the whole training side of things and being with the girls, but I knew it was my time. My time was up. Just the knees can't cope anymore. And, um, you know, um, yeah, I was quite pleased that I made that decision. Who are your inspirations, if you like, football inspirations? For me back then, because of the women's game wasn't huge, for me it was mainly um, watching the guys' game. So I got brought up watching the men. So your likes of Paul Scholes and all that were, you know, my favourite um, players and David Beckham. But Dad was my main one, so, you know, he taught me a lot as a kid. But, um, you know, you look at the, the, the way the women's game's going now, all these young girls um, now thrive to look at Matilda players and want to be like them. So um, that's... That's a great thing to have, you know, I never had that when I was a kid. There's a big pathway now for girls, like, there's there's a whole pillar squads here, just girls, you know, whereas me, it was just I was the only girl playing in the boys' comp. So it's definitely getting a lot bigger in Australia and even around the world, it's um, quite exciting. So you've now moved into a coaching role. Can you tell us a little bit about that role and, um, and how far you'd like to take it? Um, well, Vids got me in to be assistant coach for the state team, which was um, a great honour to actually be asked. Um, hopefully I can give some knowledge back um, to the game. So you know real ambition to be a Matildas coach down the track? No, I think for me personally it would be more a development coach. I like um, with the young ones and building it up. I don't think I'd want to be a head coach and taking a team. I think m my role what hopefully that I can have is be more development and technical side of things because I think that's what um, I'm good at. 